Hi, everyone. My name is Hong Yu. In this presentation, I will introduce our recent work on AutoTensor Compiler. DN workloads are well known for their computation complexity. In practice, a DN model defined by ML programmers will typically go through multiple levels of IR transformations and turn into a graph of basic operators. The execution time of the operators are vital to the overall performance. In practice, manually written kernel libraries such as CoolDNN and CoolBlast are widely used for their high efficiency. These libraries often have specific focus of hardware or operators and requires large amount of manpower to iterate. Hence, researchers propose auto tensor compilers that can automatically generate kernel libraries for different hardware and operators. However, such auto tensor compilers are often hard to use. One of the reasons is the excessive compilation time. We try to use AutoTVM and answer to generate the kernels from ResNet, BERT, and NASNet models. So as we can see, most operators require over 2000 seconds to generate the kernel functions. Practically, there are various kinds of training and inference tasks, and the operators used could have arbitrary shapes and configurations. The long compilation time will make auto tensor compilers almost infeasible for practice use. So why is the compilation time often very long? The answer lies in its workflow. The input to the compiler is usually the loop expression of the operator. And the compiler then generates a configuration space where each configuration represents a combination of loop transformations. And it then searches for the optimal configurations with heuristic algorithm and finally generates the corresponding device code. The fundamental limitation of this approach is that it treats the underlying hardware as a black box and the configuration space will be huge. And as a result, searching on a huge space will be extremely time consuming. However, if we take a closer look at the kernel program results, and we will find great redundancy here. So we used state-of-art compilers to generate kernel programs for 8K matrix fabrication on V100. And we found that the best kernels almost always have grid size of 44 k and block size of 256. So one of the reasons for that is the compute and IO ratio. So if we calculate the compute and the memory latencies for the block configurations in the best kernels, and we will find that the memory latency is less than, but also very close to the compute latency. This gives us a hint that the optimal matrix application kernels are often the ones that can balance the compute and memory resources. And we have an opportunity to avoid extensive search on a, a huge configuration space. So to achieve fast and efficient tensor compilation, we propose a new compiler called Roller, which uses a fundamentally different approach. The basic idea of Roller is that instead of nested loops, Roller treats the computation of the operator as a data processing pipeline where data tiles are moved and processed in the abstracted hardware. And with this abstraction, we can estimate the kernel performance by the bottleneck of this pipeline, which is highly predictable. And instead of the searching in a huge space for the optimal kernel configurations, we can generate the kernel function by just constructing one that maximizes the pipeline throughput. And as we will show next, this approach will reduce the compilation time to only seconds, but still maintain the quality of generated kernels. So to improve the pipeline throughput and reduce the performance of the uh, performance bottleneck, our main optimization goal is to reduce the latencies in the memory levels. So the latency of the memory level equals to the amount of data over achieved IO throughput. And we want the 
amount of transmitted data being low and we want the achieved throughput being high. Both of these goals can be easily controlled by tiling shapes. And to be more specific, Roller uses two ideas to adjust the shapes. The first is the al alignment requirements for the shapes itself. And the second is a top-down recursive construction to determine the tiling for each pipeline level. The entire compilation pipe process of Roller is based on the concept of an R tile. An R tile essentially defines a subtask of an OP computation. And it is the basic computing unit to compose a tensor computation. By adjusting the R tile shape, we can directly control the compute IO ratio and easily fit to hardware features that maximize the IO throughput. So roller process four um, re alignment requirements for R tile shapes to maximize the IO throughput. The first one is aligning two memory transactions. This is because one memory transaction is the minimum unit of data load, and we don't want one transaction being loaded multiple times by different R tiles. The second requirement is the shape size should align with the parallelism of execution units in the accelerators, such as warp size of a GPU or the fragment size of a tensor core. And the third requirement is that the memory layout of a data tile should align its stride with the memory bank because the bank conflicts might cause significant decay of the memory throughput. The fourth requirement is that the R tile shapes should align with the tensor shapes. So when an output tensor cannot be evenly partitioned by a hardware uh, by the R tile, we need to add paddings with dummy data, and we want the padding size to be limited. By these four uh, alignments, we can get a set of high quality R tile shapes, which can achieve high memory throughput. And we now use V100 GPU to demonstrate how we construct our programs with our tiles. Now here is the architecture of a V100 GPU. We map this architecture to a two-level data processing pipeline. The registers are mapped to L0, share memory to L1, and L2 cache plus the global DRAM to L2. We can then migrate the hardware counters of V100 to this pipeline which we will use later to compute the latencies of pipeline stages. These counters are profiled offline with micro benchmarks and feed to roller with the hardware abstraction layer in our system. So given the memory hierarchy, an R program is essentially the R type configurations of all memory levels. So here is a pseudocode for a two level R programs. Its execution is very simple. So at each level, we split the input data types into smaller ones, move them bottom up level by level, and feed them to a compute course, and then write back the result. So Roller uses a top-down process to determine the R tiles for each level recursively. And again, we use the matrix multiplication as an example. Then construction begins with basic tile of three parts. And these boxes here shows all the R tiles that meet all the uh, alignment requirements. So there are three types of them. The memory bound ones, the compute bound ones, and the ones that cause memory overflow. So Roller will pick the compute bound R tiles to expand to the next level. And we can repeat the process and get all the aligned uh, compute bound R tiles for the second level. So on the GPU, the first level R tile defines a workload of a thread. The second level R tile defines a workload of a thread block. A path from the root to a leaf defines an R program candidate. And notice that there could be many compute bound R tiles. Our empirical results show that we only need to pick 10 R program candidates for trials. And that will be sufficient for Roller to generate a high quality final visual. And there are some common cases here we wish we need to address for better performance. The first one is caused by um, smaller, small operators. 
So in this case, Rona will generate kernels that suffer from low uh, parallelism. Another issue is that an operator might have arbitrary tensor shapes, such as convolution with image size of 83. And in this case, we'll have trouble finding our programs that satisfies all these requirements. But for both issues, we have corresponding solutions and they do not introduce any extra tricky empirical hyperparameters. And feel free to check our papers for details if you are interested. For the last part of this presentation, I will show the evaluation of Roller. So our benchmarks come from the birth large, ResNet 50, and the NASNet large models. And we summarize 119 operators covering six different DN operators. We evaluate both the operator performance and the compilation time. We evaluated all the systems on V100 and MI50 GPU, K80 GPU, and the graph core IP. So we first show the single OP results on a uh, single performance comparison against CUDA libraries and other auto compilers. So when compared against CUDA libraries, Roller can generate faster kernels for like 60% of total operators and deliver comparable performance for more than 80% of the total operators. We observe that most of the operators that Roller performs worse are the convolution operators with three by three or greater filters. In QDN, they are usually implemented by more efficient algorithms such as Winograph, while you, Roller still compiles the direct convolution implementation. And when compared against uh, auto TVM and answer, Roller can deliver competitive results as well. The operators that Roller performs worse are mostly the small or irregular ones. But these operators are usually very short, which is about like 1.6 milliseconds on average. And this figure shows the sorted uh, per OP compilation time for each auto compiler and for all the 119 operators. For answer and auto TVM, both the average compilation time is like um, 40 minutes. And several operators could cost over two hours. And for auto TVM, some operators are the menu have many rewritten templates that require no searching, but some operators could cost over seven hours. On the country, Roller's top 10 compilation task, a uh, uh, top 10 compilation, takes only 13 seconds on average, and the majority of the compilation time actually. We also validate Roller's performance on AMD MI50 GPU. So for the Rockon library, uh, Roller can produce faster results for like 73% operators. This is much higher than the CUDA libraries. And uh, the same, dif the difference of the compilation time is also very huge. So both auto TVN and answer uses close to one hour to compile in a single operator on average, while use, Roller uses only 7.69 7, uh, 7 seconds. And besides the single OP results, we also evaluated end-to-end -end inference performance, as well as the graph core IPU. So please refer to our paper for the full evaluation. In summary, um, Roller is a new tensor compiler that is based on data processing pipeline abstraction. It sig significantly reduces the compilation time of auto tensor compilers from hours to only seconds, and it is able to produce kernel programs with high quality. It can also feed to a diverse set of hardware. And most importantly, we believe that Roller has the potential to open new opportunity to quickly bridge the ecosystem gap for newly emerged hardware. And finally, I want to thank all my collaborators. I will be happy to take any questions.